I'm Dr. Richard Weinblatt, former police chief and now the director of the Institute for Public Safety at Central Ohio Technical College in Newark, Ohio, outside of Columbus, Ohio. I'm here in Columbus, Ohio, and you see lots of cars coming around behind me, lots of traffic, and that's a similar situation that happened in Dallas, Texas recently, when Dallas police officer Robert Powell pulled over NFL player Ryan Motes. Everybody's seen this. It's been on all the television shows. It's been all over the internet, on YouTube and everything. The famous dash cam where this NFL player had been using his hazard lights, went through a red light, was pulled over by Officer Powell on a legitimate traffic stop. But what was not clear, certainly initially, was that the NFL player, Ryan Motes, was en route on an emergency to the hospital to meet up with his dying mother-in-law. He pulled into the emergency room parking lot there in Plano, Texas, and the Dallas police officer that had pursued him from the Dallas city limits did not let him go. For 13 minutes, there was a belligerent exchange between a motorist and the officer that was caught on tape. And in spite of having a nurse come out twice and a uniformed Plano, Texas police officer come out once, pleading with Officer Powell to let Mr. Motes go so he could see his dying mother-in-law before she passed away, which unfortunately she did before he was able to get in there, there was to no avail. As a law enforcement educator, a former police chief, a former full-time patrol officer, a police academy manager that I've been before in Florida, this was distressing to me. This was very upsetting. It created a lot of ripples in the community, and sometimes we in policing are our own worst enemies. It is hard to see the big picture. As I mentioned, there's lots of traffic coming behind me. And there's lots of stories. And many of those people lie to the police. I know. It shocked me back when I was a full-time officer. People lie to the police. But as a good, mature officer, using their discretion, and discretion is important, using their discretion to decide when to let people go. When to, for example, as we can in Florida, mail the ticket to the person. And in spite of the nurse, in spite of the Plano, Texas police officer, that big picture was not seen. Sometimes in policing, we are our own worst enemies. I had a student email me recently that went through my police academy that had a traffic stop with another individual, happened to be a black male, who obviously had had some bad interactions with law enforcement before. And for whatever reasons, probably justified, this person had a negative feeling toward law enforcement. This young officer that came out of my academy luckily heard some of the lessons that myself and the other instructors were trying to teach. And when the situation escalated, he stepped in, interrupted his field training officer, his FTO, and he was able to diplomatically, with his FTO, as well as with the motorist, calm the situation down. That's what we're supposed to do in law enforcement. Be the professionals. Take the high road. See the bigger picture de-escalate the situation. Unfortunately, it's a tragedy all the way around. It's a tragedy for police officers and deputy sheriffs who day in and day out do their job well. We don't see that on YouTube. What we do see on YouTube is the situations that develop, unfortunately, too many, like the one that happened in Dallas, Texas. And unfortunately, as a tragedy, a young officer, Officer Powell, lost his career because he can no longer effectively police in his community because of the community outrage, which is understandable. I hope that everybody, law enforcement, community leaders, people watching this right now, learn from this. We all take a step back. And if we're in a heated exchange, either as the law enforcement officer, the police officer, the deputy sheriff, the state trooper, or as a motorist, that we take a step back and we try to de-escalate the situation.